You know, there's a whole lot of to-do made about the missing binding panel that used to be in Adobe Dreamweaver um, back in the day. And a lot of people are upset about it, and it's really not that big a deal. You can use JavaScript if you're not savvy enough to do PHP and you think that's too complicated, which it's not. But if you are in the mindset that it is and you just want something simple, you can do that with JavaScript. Let me show you what I did here. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this stuff. Okay, so here I have a database, and it's all this stuff is displayed using JavaScript. So this is what my code looks like. I built, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, I built, um, I, basically I copied this from um, Bootstrap 5, because y'all know I'm a fan, and I just uh, copied in their table. And as you can see, here's the table headers. And I gave each little um, element an ID so I could map the data to it. But as you can see, when you look at my code, there's no text in that header. I don't have anything typed in there. All of that is being populated by my JavaScript below. And you think, oh, Amy, that's way too far hard. It's, I promise you it's not. Okay, so I just want to show you the structure. There's the table headers. And then... You go down to the row, and here's the rows, and all of this stuff doesn't have anything in it up here. Okay, so I've got, there's a table row, there's a table row, there's a table row, here's the table headers, which are up here. So I've got three rows, and each row has one, two, three, or five tab uh, table data in it, cells, whatever you want to call them. Okay, let me show you what that code looks like. Here's my data. This is how it populates. So I've got a name, a days to germinate, days to maturity, bloom size, and height. Okay, and you see that up here. Here's my headings. And then I've got just three variables, record A, record B, record C. And um, I abbreviated record because I'm not a typist. Oops, I don't know what's going on there. Hang on. Um, so anyways, there's my, this, these are my values. And I just stored them in an array and put the array in a variable. And then to populate it, all I do is call the um, variable, which is headings, and the, where it is on the array. So this is item 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's how an array, is. array starts out with the numbers. But an array is basically the square bracket um, with the strings put in quotation, and then separated by a comma. That's all it is. And then I just called out each of those elements that I wanted. So I've got, um, I've put in by ID, header 1, header 2, header 3, header 4, header, header 5. And I said document get element by ID, and then enter, enter the, um, enter HTML, and the HTML I want you to enter is heading, zero so it'll enter the pound sign on this line the html i want you to enter is heading one so it will enter the name value on this line the he, uh, the data i want you to enter is heading two so it'll enter this line remember when you're numbering things in an array it starts out with zero as the index so basically to call the data all you have to do is put the name of the uh, variable and the number it is in the array, or the index is what the um, correct term is. But if y'all want to learn how to do that, go here to W3Schools, JavaScript. And I'm not paid to promote them. I just like them. I use them a lot. But if you go to... Here, it talks about objects, it goes into arrays.
right here. But see, it, it tells you all that. It gives you, it can explain it better than I can. So they don't put a number, they don't put an index here on core, so it calls the whole array. But if you wanted a specific one, you would just say zero, and it would call the first one. See? Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with y'all.